I've got this um, tick torch, and I've had it for a number of years. It came with a welder, which you've seen me use in the uh, stick welding videos. The very successful stick welding videos. <laughs> or should I say, very successful stick welding, not. Anyway, I've never used it on that welder because the amperage control is not that good. Um, but it's quite a nice small torch when you compare it with this is the genuine Parwell bun. It's substantially bigger. Uh, but with the foot pedal, you don't even need the, the trigger. So I thought it'd be a nice small unit and it's a flexi head as well. But the power for that runs up the centre core. I'm guessing this is a metal braided pipe. So the power to the head runs up this. Um, I shouldn't think the amperage on this is going to be hugely um, high. Um, luckily enough, all the fittings come, are exactly the same as the power weld, so that's quite handy. And I've got a, a stubby tip for this as well. It's got on here WP17. But it's quite a nice small unit. But like I say, the power feed for this runs up here, where the power weld runs up a connector like this. So I didn't want to put power up here and because I don't know what the power in then goes into the power weld. Obviously because it's all metal fittings on the front of the power weld where the gas connection is. Um, a, this is a different fitting and of course B, like I say, I don't really want to be putting power on this because I've got no idea where it would backfeed into the welder. So I've been working on it already. What I've come up with is this. Um, this fitting here fits this. It's a metric, metric fitting. Um, so that will go off to my lead. This will go onto a rubber bit of hose, which then has another end on it, like so. Uh, pre 8 BSP, that fits onto the power weld. So therefore, the bit of rubber then insulates the power feed. And I've already made up this little fly lead. These are just this bit I just bought off eBay. And this is a flexi lead I've had kicking about. Um, hydraulic coupling, blanking plug. Um, and what I've done, and I'll show you this in the video, I've drilled and tapped this. So this will screw onto here. That will give me my power. That will screw onto here. So I can now plug this into the welder like it should be. And it's all insulated because I've got a flexible rubber hose going back to the welder. And then what I'll do is I'll just pull the trigger, just snip the cable ties here, pull the trigger out because I don't need the trigger if I'm going to use it with the um, with the foot pedal. And if at any time I decide I want to do just use a trigger control with a set amperage on the welder, I can probably just convert this plug and um, just cable tie it back on and just leave it cable tied to the sheath or something. But I can't see that realistically being a, being a something that will ever happen. So need to do these connections up. Um, this I TIG welded on. Hopefully it's um, good enough. If I haven't published it already, I had a bit of problem with the um, the foot pedal. The foot pedal controller wouldn't work properly. 
So I've been using the manual control on the um, on the power wheel torch. Just touch the um, camera there. Because on the power wheel torch, you've got um, yeah, push to start, whether it be two T or four T, and then you've got an amperage control on a thumb wheel, which is reasonably handy, but it's not very easy to use. Um, I shouldn't really, but I've been taking to welding with these on because I can't can't control it with thick rubber gloves on. But um, you know, it's a it's a handy little device, I suppose. But I much preferred the um, foot pedal. Right. So I'm going to get me to connect these up, and I'll bring you back in a second. So I need to drill this and tap it. So try and keep it all centre off. The easiest thing was um, put it in the lathe, do it in there. So obviously it's this loose spinning connection. So the first thing I need to do is pin that tight. So I've just found a connector, and hopefully this will just bind it all together. Right, I'm just going to put a pilot hole in and then I'm going to drill it out to 6.7mm um, I'm using an M8 by 1.25 thread um, so let's get, um, get started uh, 755 RPM <laughs> This is a cheap Chinese, and I do mean cheap Chinese, um, Helix tap. Now I'm just going to try it, see what happens. No, my luck, it will probably break off. But I don't need to go in there too far, so I've got to be a little bit careful. I'm doing no more but pushing it in. Going relatively, let me just tighten that up a bit more. That's it, I reckon that's all the way through now. Well, that is a mighty fine thread. So this is the packet they came in. And it's just a selection set. 
and I think the whole set cost me something about five quid. Um, ridiculously cheap, really, for what you can buy other taps for. And to be fair, that was a reasonably good test. Yep, that's good. Well, here it is all connected up. So, the connection to the torch is there. This is my power connection. And it's all done up through here. Rubber airline hose to the, um, the welder. So that'll insulate the welder from the torch end. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up with insulation tape. Is it really going to be high enough to stop any arcing if this lands on a bit of metal? Hmm, probably not. But it's going to be well away from anything I'm doing. Um, I can't really think of any other way of actually doing this. Um, but I'm just going to wrap it up. and I've got a plastic nut screw on the end there just to help protect that a little bit. And I'll maybe put a couple of bits of hose and cable tie that on just to give it a bit of cush to stop any insulation just buffing away maybe. Right, well I've given it a, plenty of insulation, wrapped it up. I put the um, nut on, I put it on upside down, it might just help protect it. I can't see it being too much of an issue anyway. And I've got um, some linen tape that I'm gonna put round. Uh, this is quite hair hard wearing, it's meant for wiring looms. So I'm gonna run that round it just to protect it from knocks and bangs. I mean, it should be all right, so it shouldn't be going anywhere near that anything I'm actually welding, so. There we go, so I know, now I have a nice small torch rigged up and it should work quite easily. <laughs>